In this video, we will discuss the pathological features of squamous cell carcinoma of oral cavity. So let's start with the gross features. Now the first important point to learn about the gross features is the most common locations at which the squamous cell carcinomas of the oral cavity develop. So I have drawn three pictures of mouth or oral cavity where the most common areas where squamous cell carcinomas develop are shown. So here one of the most common locations where these carcinomas develop is lower lip and other areas where these squamous cell carcinomas can develop include gums and the floor of mouth and these squamous cell carcinomas can also develop in the areas of soft palate and tongue. So you can remember these three diagrams in a sequence. In the first photograph only lips are shown. In the second diagram the mouth is opened and the gums as well as floor of mouth is shown. And lastly you see the protruding tongue and the soft palate. So accordingly the most common locations are lower lip, gums, floor of mouth, soft palate and tongue. Now let's see that how do these lesions appear. So in the initial state the squamous cell carcinomas appear as pearly plaques or mucosal thickening. So for example if this is the mucosa of the oral cavity then the squamous cell carcinomas can appear as pearly plaques like this or it can also appear as mucosal thickenings. And these lesions develop at the background of leukoplakia and erythroplakia because both of these leukoplakias and erythroplakias are pre-malignant conditions. So squamous cell carcinomas of oral cavity can develop on the background of leukoplakia and erythroplakia. Now gradually as the squamous cell carcinomas grow in size, they appear as ulcerated and protruding masses with irregular borders. So for example if this is the mucosa then squamous cell carcinomas of oral, oral cavity can develop large masses with irregular borders and these masses can be ulcerated as well. Now let's come to the microscopic features. In microscopic picture just like all other epithelial carcinomas you see epithelial cells invading the basement membrane. So for example if this is the basement membrane and this is the overlying epithelium then the cancer cells of epithelium can invade the basement membrane and start forming separated masses of carcinomas. Now the morphology of these invading cancers can be differentiated squamous cells with prominent keratinization and the cells may be poorly differentiated. Poorly differentiated in a sense that they do not resemble the squamous epithelium and do not show prominent keratinization. So overall in squamous cell carcinoma on gross picture you see pearly plaques on mucosal thickening that develop into ulcerated and protruding masses with irregular borders and on the microscopic picture you see well differentiated epithelial cells with keratinization or you see undifferentiated epithelial cells with poor keratinization. So this was all about the morphology of squamous cell carcinomas of the oral cavity.